kaya hello ah so yan so for for our next topic uh, we will talk about percentage okay um ready your uh, notes yan tsaka yung pinag-aaralan natin last time tungkol sa percentage rate and base so magagamit natin dito yon no yan So, percentage mathematics 5. Let's start. Okay. So, our goal for this topic, for this lesson, is to be for you to be able to find the percentage in a given problem. So, we will talk about the percentage in a given problem. So, start with this problem. Okay. Let's read. Follow me. All right. As I read this problem last Saturday. 840 people visited Enchanted Kingdom okay, in Laguna. 30% of the visitors were children. How many children visited Enchanted Kingdom last Saturday? So, now as we look the problem, meron tayong mga given. Okay? Ang first given natin is base. Base is the total number as we as we go back last day, last week, sa topic natin, no? Base is the total number of visitors, which is equal to, base sa problem natin, nila ng base. Hmm? Base is equal to, tama, that is, 840 people. So, we have 840. Okay? Yan. How about the next given? The rate. Alright? So, meron tayong rate. Sabi natin, kapag rate, yun yung merong percent symbol. So, makikita natin sa ating problem, meron tayong rate, which is 30%. No? Hindi pa ako masyadong sanay sa pagsulat dito sa digital. Yan, yan. No? Kapag blackboard yan, okay sanay sulat eh, no? <laughs> no? So, based on the given, meron tayong base at meron tayong rate. Okay? Huwag nyo makakalimutan to, ha? Keep this in mind. Okay? P is equal to B times R. Okay? P represents the percentage. B is the base and R is the rate. Ito yung formula na gagamitin natin para makita natin yung percentage in a given problem. Okay? So, percentage is equal to base times rate. So, we will multiply the base to rate. Okay? Let's go. So, pwede natin gamitin yung decimal. Paano nga gamitin decimal? So, we will um, use the 30%. So, we have here 30%. Okay. So, that is 30%. We will convert this one to a decimal. So, kapag ginawa natin siyang decimal, we move natin yung decimal point papunta sa left ng dalawang beses. And then, remove the percent symbol. So, that will be equal to 0 and 30 tenths. Okay. And then, sabi sa formula natin last time, ito, percentage is equal to base times rate. So, P, you will write P kasi yun yung hinahanap natin. It's equal to, ano yung base natin? No? We have 840. 40 times 0 and 30. So, yan. So, kapag ganyan na yung formula, kasi hindi mo siya pwede hindi multiply gamit yung um, yung rate na may percent symbol. Okay? So, gagamitin mo yung decimal. So, let's multiply. Let's try. 840 times 0 and 30. Okay? Kapag nag-multiply na yun ng may decimal, multiply like uh, whole numbers. So, kapag uh, another technique, no, kapag multiply ka ng may 0 sa gilid, i-discard mo muna, tanggalin mo muna sa isip. So, we will multiply 84 times 3. No? 84 times 3 is equal to 252. Okay? And then, you will put the numbers 0, the two zeros na hindi natin sinama sa multiplication. No, ganyan lang yan. And then, ilan yung decimal number natin? Ang decimal number natin, ang decimal number natin ay 0 and 3. So, meron tayong 2. So, we will move two decimal places from left, uh, from right to left. Okay, 1, 2. So, dito mapupunta ang ating decimal. So, ang sagot natin, percentage is equal to 200. 52. Okay? So, 
Kung babasahin natin how many children visited to um, the final answer, lagi nyo, nga, lagi nyo tatandaan na isusulat ang final answer. Okay? Complete final answer. The final answer is um, how many children visited the Enchanted Kingdom. 252 children okay, had this it. EK. Okay. Last. Oh, yeah. Nandu ko siya yung video eh. Last Saturday. Okay, yan. Don't. 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 So, last Saturday. So, ito yung final answer natin. 252 by following the formula. Okay? So, ngayon, meron pang ibang way. So, kung nahihirapan sa decimal, convert mo from from percentage, ah, from rate to decimal. Yan. Pwede mo rin gamitin yung fraction. No? So, papaano? So, 30% convert natin to a fraction. So, that is 30 over 100. Kasi ang percent symbol is per 100. Kung maalala natin, nung convert tayo last time, 30 over 100 siya. So, mag-multiply tayo na fraction. We will use third, uh, base, which is equal to percentage as opposed to base times rate. Alright? So, that is percentage as opposed to base. That is a 40 times 30 over 100. Okay? Paano tayo mag-multiply ng fraction? Nalagyan natin ng de uh, denominator na 1 sa 840 para mag-multiply natin. Kasi pag nag-multiply tayo ng fraction, di ba? as we remember, uh, numerator times numerator, no? tapos yung denominator naman, mag-multiply natin para makuha natin okay? yung answer. Right? So, Ayan. So, kung check natin, uh, masyado yatang malaki yung 30 over 100. No? So, pwede natin siyang i-delete mismo. Muna. Okay, i-delete natin, ha? Hmm? Kapag makita nyo si 30 over 100, tignan nyo siya may igi. Ano yung mapapansin nyo? Ayan, tama. Pwede mo siyang i-lowest term. Okay? So, lowest term natin, Divide natin sa GCF, which is 10. Okay. 30 divided by 10. No? So, lagay ko dito ha. Ang GCF ay 10. Papaliitin natin. Gagawin yung lowest term. No? So, 30 divided by 10 is 3. And 100 divided by 10 is 10. Okay. Ayan. So, meron na tayong mas maliit na value ng 30 over 100. Kaya... Nalagyan natin sa baba, 80 over 840 divided over 1 times 3 over 10. O din, multiply, proceed to multiplication of fraction. Numerator, 840 times 3 is equal to 2,520. Okay? And then, over 1 times 10 is equal to over 10. Okay? 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 And then, lowest term, 2,520 over 10 is equal to 252. Lowest term, pwede mo rin i-divide. 2,520 divided by 10. Ayan. Diba? Is equal to 252. So, ang percentage natin is 252. Same sa decimal. And then, you will need to write the final answer, which is 252 children visited. Enchanted Kingdom last Saturday. Okay? Very good. Always remember. Oh, here. Another example. Yeah. So, for another example, we have uh, we have a rate. This is the rate, our rate. And we have the base. Okay? So, we will look for the percentage. Okay? So, nalagay ko dito, decimal. Right decimal and our fraction. No, so the decimal we will use 150, then convert times times zero and twenty hundreds, right? Yeah, and then 
Hmm. Multiply. Hmm. Tanggal. No. Tanggal yung 0. 2 times 15, that is 30. Okay. And then you will put the 0. Then, ilang decimal number? 1, 2. 1, 2. Okay. So, sa decimal, the percentage is equal to 30. Okay. Then, fraction. Okay. 150 over 1 times 20 over 100. Okay. Or, pwede rin i-delete natin ulit. Mm -hmm. Yan. Okay. So, we will write pen. Mm -hmm. 20 over 100, lowest term, is 2 over 10. Okay. I kapag medyo mabilis ako, i-rewind nyo lang. Okay. 150 times 2 is 300. Okay. And then, 1 times 10 is 10. It's equal to 300 divided by 10. Okay. Lowest term mo. That is 30. Over 1 or 30. So, Percentage is equals to 30. Oh, okay, same, same. Mm. Yan. The percentage is equal to 30. With this given. Okay. No? So, here. Oh. So, let's remember. Okay. To find the percentage of a number, naging yung tatandaan, change the rate. Yung rate, yung may, decimal, yung may percent symbol. Okay. Change the rate to decimal. Then, multiply the base and the rate. Okay? Or, change the rate to a fraction. Okay? Tapos, kung kaya yung lowest term, lowest term na. If possible, change the base to a fraction with 1 as a denominator. No? So, yung base mo, lalagyan mo ng denominator na 1 para maging fraction siya. And then, proceed to multiplication. May multiply both numerators and denominators. And then, change to lowest term. Okay? Very good. So, for now, uh, I will put the checking your understanding here. Papaliwanan ko na. Kasi, yung last time, may mga, may mga classmate tayo na nagtanong at hindi nila masyadong naintindihan yung instruction doon sa JPEG, doon sa picture ng checking your understanding. So, I will put this one. No? Ito yung task nyo for this week. Okay. Now, checking your understanding. Solve for the percentage. Match column A to column B. Write the letter of the correct answer. Okay? So, pwede nyo i-match and then susulat nyo rin yung final answer doon sa gilid ng number. So, column A. Okay? So, number 1 is 50% of 60. So, meron diyang rate at meron base. O, ano nyo yung gagawin nyo na ha? Pwede kayong gumamit ang uh, in decimal form, convert to decimal, or convert to fraction form. Okay? If you have questions, um, you can PM me sa account ko. Alright? No? So, see you next time! Thank you! So, the only way to learn mathematics is to do mathematics by Paul Halmos.